Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So the whole Maxima Magica Mag Sork era is over. You no longer have to stack Maxima Magica for your Sorcerer. There is an alternative playstyle if you want to go down that path. And I think I've perfected it here on the PTS. I've been doing a lot as of late on the PTS. And it's held its own weight in water, if not better than stacking max mag on your sorcerers. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to pull off this playstyle. So let's start on the character sheet here. Everything's completely unbuffed. So we are running Death Dealer's Fate. Um, so all this is going to go up a lot higher. So our health goes up to like 31.7k. Our stamina is at 22k. Our max match is actually going to be at 37.2k. Now if you want everything completely buffed here... So we got 4,500 spell damage on the front bar with continuous attack. I'll go over 5,000. Our spell resistances on the front bar is as such. And we go to our back bar here. Here's all of our spell and physical resistance on the back bar as well. Magic recovery and stamina recovery is really high because we are spotting vigor on this build. Yes, rapid regen vigor builds are going to be absolutely everywhere. So the healing over time effectiveness of this class and pretty much any other class in the game is going to be astronomical. Um, it really is, guys. So... Let's uh, go ahead and delve into it. So on the PTS, I am the Breton. I am running the Serpent Mundus just to give us some maximum stamina recovery to deal with our um, casting of Vigor. So that's going to help out a lot. Um, some of the sets we are running. So on the front bar, we are running Burning Spell Weave. This is an amazing, amazing, just stat dense hybrid set now. So we have Maximum Magicka. Spell weapon damage, critical chance, and then we do damage with the flame ability, which we will proc with the lie attacks from our Inferno Staff or Force Bolts, both of which proc burning spell weave. You can increase your weapon and spell damage for 490 for 8 seconds, and this effect can occur every 12 seconds. So this is going to help all of our outgoing damage, all of our outgoing healing, including vigor. So uh, this is going to be an amazing set to run on your front bar with a sharpened great with also a shock damage glyph just so you can get the concuss stats effect which applies minor vulnerability therefore increasing your damage by five percent against the target you're focusing now on the back bar do not click away do not click away from this dang video yes i'm running iron blood why am i running iron blood because it's op that's exactly why i'm running iron blood plus we have streak so you don't have to cry about the snare you can just streak away this is an up in your face type of sort build you're not gonna you don't longer have to worry about the whole roly poly oly you don't have to worry about kiting and losing nearly as much this allows you to face tank groups of people and get away with it so we're running powered now because we are just inherently tanking because of our healing over time abilities we also have a weapon damage enchantment on our back bar therefore increasing our damage and also our ongoing healing Monster set, this is debatable of what you want to run. I'm choosing to go with Engine Guardian because let's be honest, this is a pseudo hybrid sort build. So if it gives you stamina, great. You can spam on more bigger heals and roll dodges. If it gives you health, man, that's great. That's another big dick heal. If it gives you ma magic, well, good, you know? So you can never go wrong with Engine Guardian. You can never have too much of any resources. And plus it tanks a lot of hits. It hits, it, it tanks in caps. It tanks in meteors. It tanks everything. Like, just kite behind this motherfucker, and you're not going to get hit by anything. It's so annoying for people to deal with. Um, I don't know of any other good monster set that allows you to do what Engine Guardian does. There, Again, you can toss on whatever you want. This is a very stat-intensive build, so you can toss on a proc set if you would like, if you need the extra damage. Um, I just prefer Engine Guardian for sustain. You, you guys know me. I like to over-sustain. So, the traits, uh, you want to piece them up a well-fitted and uh m pins still yet um fragless and all the big pieces now i do have reinforce on the iron blood chest uh, which we are running and then one piece training obviously and then for the jewelry i'm running iron blood you need to uh, i'm gonna run all these infused uh, one's infused magic recovery actually two of them's infused magic recovery and then the third piece is death dealer's fate um i think this is going to be the best in slot mythic uh, even over ring and mark him because it gives you everything you need because it gives you stamina, which can bolster your bigger heals. It gives you magic, which will bolster pretty much all your damage and healing across the board and gives you health and make you even even more tanky than you already are. Tapping out at almost 32k maximum health. So you're pretty much impossible to burst. And on top of that, if you guys don't know what Iron Blood does or not familiar with the channel, I crush on this set like uh, the crippled person using a crutch. I, the, that's a bad... That's a very bad pun. It's not funny, but uh, yeah, you get it. So this is a huge crutch set, to be honest. It's good for new players. It's good for veteran players. It's good for elitist players. There is absolutely no build. You cannot slap this on and it not just overperform.
So if you guys aren't familiar what it does, it gives you a 50% snare for the five, five piece. Big whoop, you have streak. And then you get 30% damage and mitigation. It's 30% flat, you know, on top of everything else uh, you have going on, all your healing, all your other mitigations, all your major minor protection, yada yada. So that's why I love Iron Blood. You're going to see a few Iron Blood builds. I will put up builds that do not involve Iron Blood. Don't worry, guys. I know you guys don't like the play style. It, it, it's really hit and miss in the community how toxic Iron Blood is. But uh, guys, you know, it's a counter meta set. The meta is Bursty Boys, Night Blades, Valorians, Selenes, whatever to just one tap you. Well, this set, let me go and hover over so it makes sense as I'm talking about it. This set just allows you to live and actually play your class and learn your class. Great for newer players, veterans, and elitists alike. So, when it goes to the skills, the front bar is very basic. The back bar is where it gets interesting and where we have to go over some of the changes in the patch note. So your frags, as always, on curse. Inner light, this is here for the crit, as well as a little bit more damage on the front bar. You can run Endless Fury if you want, or Major's Wrath, whatever, but I'm telling you guys, this extra crit on your front bar and plus the little bit of extra damage you get is going to greatly outweigh the effects of that dog crap execute. I absolutely hate that execute. You guys know me. Grand Crushing Shock is a spammable. Uh, this is also to proc Burning Spell Weave, um, which we can also proc a lot of attacks as well. And plus, this has a chance to um, apply all the other uh, stats effects as well. Uh, this is our gap closer, slash stun, slash everything. Th this, this skill does everything. Does a lot of damage too. You're an Ice Comet, you're an Ice Comet Shooting Star. Overload, Frank, whatever you want to. Um, this is entirely up to you to change um, how you want. Now, when we go um, into the back bar, so everything looks pretty underwhelming, right? So we got a resolving vigor. This is taking the place over uh, dark conversion. You really don't need dark conversion literally at all with this build. I've not been in one. Again, I've only been able to test this in duels. And usually in duels, you're against someone really good, and, uh, someone at your skill level. It's a much more resource intensive than that of open world. And so if I can get away with running Resolving Vigor over Dark Conversion, I know you guys can too. So running Resolving Vigor again, this will get bolstered up tremendously. This goes over to like a 23k tooltip. Um, of course, we're not going to be able to get that. Everything uh, completely buffed here just because of Death Dealer's fate. But this does go up to around 22, 23k, excuse me, uh, over 4 seconds. And this costs nothing. I mean, it says 2700, but we have 22k maximum stamina to pull from with 1k stamina recovery. It's going to cost us like nothing. Now, Blessings of Restoration. Now, they did do a lot of changes to this one. So, they increased the buff duration of Minor Resolve uh, quite substantially. Plus, they increased the healing of this tremendously. Now, the cost also did go up a lot, but this is a huge burst heal now, guys. So, Let's take a look here at just how much this is going to be uh, on tools with continuous attack. This goes to like 12.5, but still this is a huge burst heal and not only that, it's going to give you a minor resolve on your back bar as well. Um, so you can get these really beefy resistances, you know, on top of Iron Blood, right? So we're not running pets. If you run a pet without running ward, that pet is going to get absolutely deleted. This is why I love this patch so freaking much because what kept this build from coming to light in the last patch is the lack of innate burst heal. Like, you don't have access to a burst heal on the sword unless you're on the pet. So, this changes, or these changes on the PTS, allowing, I think this is 36% more healing, and then the morph increases by 12.5%. So, it's almost like a 50% heal buff. Kind of. Not, not exactly 50%, but it's close enough. But, it costs more. Who cares? This is amazing. Like this is the burst heal the sword needed to pull out this playstyle, and it is. I love it. I love this change. Rapid regen, of course. You pair rapid regen with resolving vigor. I don't even have to say anything, okay? Uh, Critical surge. This is also going to help with our healing while giving us access to major brutality and major sorcerer. Sorcery increases our damage across the board as well as our healing when you pair that with Boundless Storm. So anytime you crit, you're going to get healed back. That's also why I like to opt for Crushing Shock because it has three instances of damage. You saw I just hit this dude right here and there was like seven damage numbers that popped up, okay? Each time one, one of these bad boys crit, I think there's a one second cooldown on this. Oh, there is a one second cooldown on this, but that's okay. So you're all pretty much almost always guaranteed a crit heal, okay, from this. And look at the tooltip. I know you guys in the past, this has always read 3300 when you active dealing critical damage heals you up to 4028. I'm not sure if this has been changed as of late, but it used to cap off 
at 3300 and now for whatever reason it's capped off at 4000 i'm not sure those changes or whether that was in the patch notes or not but uh, that's just something interesting to note which is good that's just more healing so anytime someone's hopping on you with lightning storm like you're constantly critting you're constantly getting hits they like, hits all the time right so these two abilities play really really well to help you keep capped off Plus you have some of the best healing over time abilities in the game with rapid regeneration, resolving vigor, and if you do get that down into XP range where well, you have blessing of protection, to give you a huge burst skill and not only that you get minor resolve which gives you even more resistances and on the back bar again you can run whatever you want, I just prefer Frank because you can also line a sight behind Frank, he does really good decent AoE damage assuming you go with the charge Atro morph of him. And yeah, he's just super annoying to kite behind. He's, he's, he's a good pal, good friend, right? But um, when we go into the champion points, um, these are pretty much the same. Um, pretty much uh, around focus mending, uh, just to help with the ongoing healing. It The focus mending does not buff uh, blessings of protection, but it does buff your other healing over time abilities. Deadly aim, mastered arms, and ironclad. Uh, you can potentially argue that you want to go a dual street buff to negate a lot of the dot damage but since we have a lot of healing over time i feel a lot of the damage over time effects are mitigated so it's better that we take the mitigation to direct hits like in caps and such just so we don't drop down into xp range if we don't have to. so we go over to the red tree um, we're running relentlessness pain's refuge fortified and balanced vitality um, you can play around with these um, how you want. Um, the two I definitely would recommend is Relentlessness and Pain's Refuge. If you want to sacrifice a little bit of your health, which you have plenty of health on this build, so you might as well do it anyway. Um, slot some points into a Sustained by Suffering for your third passive. And if you want to completely take remove these two, which is perfectly fine because you're going to have enough resistances and enough mitigation, you can toss your points into Survival Instincts, which cause all of your core combat abilities, which is Block, Roll Dodge, break free and then there's one other one uh something i don't get anything off the top of my head let me know down in the comments right uh the fourth combat mechanic reduce everything by 25 percent which is incredible and then the green tree i don't matter gift of rider war mount and then uh, if you're using expensive potions go with liquid efficiency and you're good to go but yeah guys i'm going to be running this on the pts i'll probably be doing some live uh commentary with this as well god damn it almost got through the whole phone call without getting uh or the, the whole video without getting interrupted but yeah this is going to be such a meta breaking class guys for the magic of sorcery if you're looking for a different play styles that works back in all freaking day this is going to be the build for you i look forward to you guys tweaking the build and coming out and coming up with possibly even better builds than this one you know take off iron blood slot on something else yeah who knows but if anything changes i'll let you guys know in a future update video and do not forget, I'm doing PvP Top 5 as well as a funny clip compilation. Please submit your clips on the Discord or to my email at horcruxeso at yahoo.com. I need a lot of clips for going into next week if we're going to make this a weekly thing. And before I go, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. And before I go, before I go, guys, tell someone you love them. Alright, have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.